Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to build Get All Employees REST API. So let's go to our project in IntelliJ IDEA over here. And first, we will change the service layer and then we will change the controller layer because the controller layer is depends on service layer. So let us go to employee service interface over here and within this interface, let us define the method. So let us give a return type of the method as list of employee DTO. Next, let us give method name as get all employees. All right, now we have created get all employees method in our employee service interface. Next, let us implement this method in our employee service IMPL class. Let us head over to employee service IMPL class over here and just move forward on this class. Click on this implement methods link. Next, let us select the method that you want to implement. Click on OK. All right, now let us go ahead and let us implement this get all employees method over here. Within a get all employees method, let us call employee repository. It has find all method. We'll notice here there are multiple overloaded find all methods. Where I want to choose the find all method, it doesn't take any method argument. And find all method returns a list of type employee JP entity. Okay, so let us select find all method over here. Next, let us take the result of this find all method in a local variable of type list. So here, let us declare list. List is a generic, let us pass employee class as a type and let us call it as employees perfect now we have list of employee gp entities but if you can see here get all employees method returns list of employee dtos right so let us convert a list of employee gp entities into list of employee dtos so here go to return statement remove this null and here just call employees so employees is a list it has a stream method and then stream has a map method and notice here map method has a function as a functional interface and we need to provide the lambda expression implementation for this function functional interface so let us select map method over here so basically we use map method to map one object into another object and in our case we have to convert employee gp entity into employee d2 right so here let us have a lambda ex expression implementation so here let us pass employee as a parameter and let us have lambda symbol and then call employee mapper it has map to dto method and then pass employee object perfect and finally let us call collect method to collect the result so here we are using list so let us call this collect method it takes to list as a parameter now we have written a logic to convert a list of employee JP entities into list of employee DTOs. Next, let us create the REST API that will internally call this method. So go to employee controller over here and within employee controller, let us build get all employees REST API. So here, let me write the comment build get all employees REST API. Well, creating REST API using Spring Boot is very simple. First, we need to create a method and then we'll convert that method into REST API by using Spring annotations. So here, let us first create the method public response entity as a return type. Response entity is a generic. So let us pass list as a type. List is also a generic interface. Let us pass employee DTO as a type and let us give method name as get all employees. All right, and here let us call employee service. It has get all employees method. So get all employees method returns a list of employee details. So here let us declare a local variable of type list. List is generic. Let us pass employee details as a type, and let us give variable name as employees. Perfect. Next, let us have a return statement, a return response entity, and then call its OK method, and then pass employee objects as a parameter. Perfect. Now we have created get all employees method. Let us make this method as a REST API by using Spring annotations. So here let us annotate this method with add get mapping annotation. Well, we use add get mapping annotation to map incoming HTTP get request to this particular method. All right, perfect. Now we have built get all employees REST API. Next, let us rerun our Spring Boot application and let us test this REST API. So from here, I am going to stop and rerun the Spring Boot application. Well, our Spring Boot application is up and running in Embedded Tomcat server on port 8080. Next, let us go to Postman client over here. And here, let me copy this URL and let me create the new request. Let us choose HTTP GET method and let us enter the URL. 
localhost 800 slash api slash employees click on send button and there we go you can see the array array contains a single json object so let us insert one more employee so go to add employee request over here and let us change the json post name let us say sanjay last name let us say jadav email sanjay at the gmail.com next click on send button and, and there we go we got the response and the status code 201 created next let us go to get all employees request over here and then click on send button and there we go you can see here there are total two employees and in a response also there are two employees next let us insert one more employee so go to post request and here let us view first name as tom and last name cruz email tom at the gmail.com click on send button and there we go we got the response with the employee id 3 next let us go to get all employees request over here click on send button and there we go you can see a tom employees present in a array okay it means we have successfully built get all employees rest api let us also verify the database table so go to mysql workbench go to employees table select rows and notice here there are total three employees and if you look at the response of the rest api there are total three employees you know three employee json objects present in the array okay it means we have successfully built get all employees rest api in next lecture we will build update employee rest api all right great i will see you in the next lecture